I'm Liz Wade, and this is Adam Navis. Hello, Liz. Hi, Adam. Today, we are going to have a real conversation in English about the program, The Ancient City of Chichen Itza. So if you haven't had a chance to listen to that program yet, you can find it on our website at www.spotlightenglish.com. Uh, or you can, and there you can uh, actually listen to the program and read along with the script. You can also find it here on YouTube as well. And of course, all of those links are in the program description below. So be sure to check out that program. And uh, Adam, are you ready to talk about the ancient city of Chichen Itza? I am actually very excited to talk about it. Good, awesome. So um, just to kind of refresh our memories, uh, I wanted to tell a little bit about what this program is about, give a little summary. So, of course, Chichen Itza is an ancient city in southern Mexico, and it was built by the Maya people almost 3,000 years ago, which is pretty incredible. So right now it's just in ruins. Um, they were really advanced in their technology, so, um, and I'm sure we'll talk about this later, uh, but they had an interest in studying the stars and they used the number zero, which is um, which was not really common at that time at all. And they had a really exact calendar, so they had all this, uh, they were had an interest in, in studying and in gaining knowledge. Um, and then they were invaded by the Itza people, and that's where the city gets its name. I think it's uh, by the mouth mm -hmm. of the river Itza that it means. Um, but they all left after a time and no one knows why, which I think is also a very interesting point. And then today it's a tourist spot. Uh, probably not at this moment with the, the pandemic right. hopefully winding down. Um, I don't imagine they have a lot of visitors right now. But it's a tourist spot with uh, typically about a million people going through there a year. So, um, yeah, that program really talks about the history of that city and what it is today. Yeah, I think it's a fascinating program. Um, one of the things that I think a little differently about this program than some of our other programs is that it is very, um, how do I say this? Um, it really helps to go to our website because seeing some pictures of this will give you a, a right. really good sense of, if, if you've just watched this or listened to it, kind of finding out a little more about what it looks like. Because the descriptions, of course, are wonderful, but the pictures yeah. uh, really kind of fill out the picture, don't you think? Yeah, this, um, especially, you know, the program opens with this description of when you stand in front of... Um, the pyramid, right? And you see the snake of light kind of going up as the sun rises. So it's got um, it's got stairs on each side going up, and each I believe it's each minute it goes it goes up like the sun like goes up one step. But you can see this snake like sort of climbing up, and that is um, that is just something that. Uh, seeing and hearing about are so different, right? Yeah. Um, I don't think we have a video of it doing that, but at least to see the stairs, you can you can um, imagine what it what it might look like doing right. that. No, it re it reminded me. I don't know if I've ever told you this story that um, I've never been to these ruins, but I went to some similar ruins in southern Mexico, uh, oh. probably a few hundred miles south of these, and. Yeah. Um, it is amazing to think about what life was like, that there were people like you and me who lived in right. th their whole life. This was their world. Thousands and thousands of people. This was a, this was not a small tribe of people. This was, no, no. You know, just, I don't know how, we, I mean, we obviously don't know how many or how long this city existed, but it would be like a major city today just being you know, everyone leaving, you know, it, yeah. it's just, yeah. it's nutty. Well, and that we have no idea why they left. Yeah. Like, you know, people have studied this and they've tried to figure it out. But um, I, it says in the, in the program that basically they were conquered by the Spanish and then most of those records were destroyed. So I don't know, there's something in me that is so, I am a record keeper. I uh, love to like 
keep records and, you know, write down why things happened and, um, and learn about stuff that way. Yeah. And to not have that information just makes me want it even more. Yeah. Well, an interesting thing that the government of Mexico was doing, well, I, and I don't, this is not a bad thing. They, right. um, in this, in this series of ruins and there was pyramids and, and whatnot is because of where they were situated, the, I don't know if jungle is the right word. Um, right. They had to clear out the jungle. It grew so over these ruins, they would slowly, oh. so that they could announce, hey, we've got a new section. Come on back. Check it out. Um, but to yeah. think about how long these ruins were abandoned and, you know, like just sat there and, and, and what else is out there? I mean, our world is so big yeah. that to discover a major uh, city like this, I just... I just want to know, like, what was life yeah. like? Do it's it's kind of like our 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 ideas about life back then. Is it just us back then, or is is it accurate? Yeah. What what did we get right? What did we get wrong? That, were they we'll Mayan know. ruins? Were they Mayan ruins that you? I believe they were. Um, yeah, I was... mean that would make sense if they were so close. They were probably part of the Maya culture. Yeah. Yeah. So one of the things, uh, picking up on your point of how, you know, we just don't know how how life was back then. One of my favorite, well, maybe not favorite descriptions in this program is how um, there is a, some sort of like ball court, mm -hmm. but they don't know exactly what was played there, right? Um, but probably something like football, not American football, like yeah. uh, what we would call soccer. Yeah. Um, and there are pictures of games on the sides of the court. Yeah. But also uh, there is a picture of an official beheading a person. So <laughs> like they don't know exactly. Like was it part of the game or was it like this yeah. was somebody did something wrong? Was it the winner of the game? Was it the loser of the game? I hope was it's it not something... the winner. I don't think you'd want to win. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, unless you were, you know, excited to, I don't know, uh, be a sacrifice. I, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know, Adam. I'm just saying. I, there I know, I know. You, we all people. have, uh, you know, we. Um, I think there is a honoring of people who have sacrificed. Either it's in war or your service to save someone from a, a building that's on fire, and we we do put up memorials. And so mm -hmm. maybe maybe it's maybe there was that like element like you were a hero and they just wanted to say okay you're a hero forever. Right. Yeah, exactly. Who knows? But like thinking of uh like you were saying thinking of being a person in that in that court maybe not playing. I'm not very sporty. I probably wouldn't be playing the yeah. football game, but I might be watching. Yeah. Um Thinking as a person who's like, you know, observing that game, like we go to games like that today. We go to, I go to baseball games. I don't really go to other games, but, um, yeah. you know, and just being a part of, of that as a culture, like there are lots of cultures that, that do yeah. that same thing. Well, then of course, um, you know, we could think about 3000 years into the future, like if. If if our society just stopped and, you know, trees yeah. grew up and plants took over and people started to find our houses and our buildings and our cities, what would they think about us? These big right. stadiums where people played sports um, where and, you know, a lot of sports teams are like, li you know, lions and, you know, fierce animals. So like what? What would they think? Would they be, would they think they're actual lions fighting or? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. So this leads into um, one of my favorite things ever, which is um, like dystopian future yeah. uh, media. So okay. yep. usually like a television show or a book. So you have to explain uh, the word dystopian. Yes. Okay, so basically it's it's what Adam is describing right now. It's what you're describing right now. Like uh, imagine that all life on earth just ceases or right. there's a big disaster or a catastrophe right. that uh, many people have to sort through or, or, you know, live through. And so, you know, you see it in maybe like zombie movies mm -hmm. or, um, or, you know, after a... Um, 
after a huge flood or right. fires or anything like that. So it's, uh, but it's also, I guess, you know, it's also opposed to utopia, which is everything's yeah. great. Everything's, you know, you might have had a disaster, but everything's good. Dystopian is uh, not so good. Yeah, everything's not so great. So, um, and, you know, and how people survive after that. I mean, I don't. Maybe it's a good thing to think about uh, Chichen Itza. You know what happened there that yeah. that sort of that sort of went on. Uh, yeah, did they have a pandemic? Yeah, that's a good point. You I know? mean, maybe there would be pictures of. Uh, maybe they would have left pictures of something else. Did they I don't all know. just travel away somewhere else? Yeah. Are we gonna find? Yeah. Them? It's Are a good question. Around? Did yeah, aliens I, I would be come from outer space? If... What? Did aliens come from outer space and take yeah. them away? <laughs> I think there's a documentary about that. And maybe they built the pyramids too. Yeah, that's kind of advanced technology. You know, we do have a program about that. Um, it's about ancient structures. Mm. I'm not sure if, if uh, Chichen Itza is, me is mentioned in that in that program. But that is a very interesting program. Yeah. That ancient structures program. Because like you said, there are a lot of people who are like, uh, pyramids were built by aliens. Yeah. And the Maya were actually people from another planet who came to visit here and then left. And that's why Chichen Itza is abandoned. I think there are some fascinating, um, when I see some, and I'm trying to remember if they're um, like the Roman civilization or Greeks who built walls with blocks that just fit perfectly in oh, line right. and there there's nothing holding them but gravity and they're just super solid and oh um, right yeah you it, it is amazing what people were able to do um, yes uh, it's just without facebook or youtube i know i can't do anything <laughs> without those imagine if we didn't have facebook or youtube well don't let's not imagine without youtube we we like talking to you this <laughs> way but <laughs> But, exactly. um, yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah. We have a program about that too, Adam, about social media. Is it good or bad? Yeah. We got a program we, on everything. We do. That should, we should change our name, light, name to uh, Spotlight. We got a program about that. Yeah. <laughs> That's our tagline? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, we would love to hear what you have to say. If you have ever visited Chichen Itza or other ruins or if there are ruins in... Uh, in your country, in your area, um, and what you thought about them. Or uh, maybe even just, do you like dystopian <laughs> novels and TV shows? Yeah, like, you have I a good do. recommendation for us. Because I got to say, I will talk about dystopian novels and uh, TV shows for a long, long time. Fair enough. Yeah, anyway, so uh, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, our website, www.spotlightenglish.com, and obviously here on YouTube. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe and then hit the little bell so you never miss an episode. Until next time, we hope you listen, watch, practice, and learn. Spotlight out.